Welcome along to our video tutorial series where we are learning how to create Minecraft worlds using Python code. In today's lesson we're going to be building a double story house as you can see on your screen right now. It's pretty similar to the single story house that we've already created. We've just added a bit more height to it, a few more windows up top and this obvious timber staircase inside the house to get us up there. It is empty up top so if you want to add your own furniture by all means go for it at the end. So let's get started on creating this fella today by actually cheating a little bit. We are going to be loading up the code from our single story house that we have already done in the past. So if we go to our code, um, we're going to dig out the advanced house code. Okay, if we give that a run, just watch what happens to the two story house. It just shrinks in size. We've already made this, so we're not going to write the code again. Let's just reuse it and we'll just add to it a little bit to make that second floor on the house. So what I'm going to do, instead of overriding what I've got here, I'm going to press Control A to highlight all of my code, Control C to copy it all, and then go to a brand new document and press Control V to paste that in. This is the start of our two-story home now. So what I'm going to do is save that. Uh, just put it in your usual coding folder and call it two-story house. And the first thing I want you to do is add to the building materials list. We're going to add in just those blocks to build the stairs inside of the house a bit later on. So I want you to make a variable called um, stairs. And that variable is going to be equal to the number 53. Now the block ID for 53 is actually a timber stair. So that's going to be perfect for our needs. Uh, once we've done that, we're just going to head down the page a bit and have a look where you actually start building the house just here. This is the section we're going to start um, manipulating, I guess. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a comment that really stands out. So I'm going to put in multiple hashtags and even a few equal signs. And in capital letters, I'm just going to write bottom floor of house. All right, just because we've got a lot of code here now, as I flick through, I want to easily be able to find these important sections. So by having this comment that stands out, uh, it just makes it easier to find. So this section is the bottom floor of our house. The only thing that needs changing, obviously, is the roof. That's got to go up higher. All right, so I'm going to actually um, delete that gutter comment because I think that's in the wrong spot. I'm going to cut and paste this roof section. I'm going to press Control X to cut that highlighted roof section out. And I'm going to paste it down the bottom of the page, below everything else, because this is actually going to come in our next section called the top floor of the house. So I'm going to make a comment that stands out in capital letters that says top floor of house. And we're going to start with the roof obviously because we've already got that code there. The only thing we really need to change is the Y values here. So at the moment that roof is sitting at Y plus the height that we defined earlier in the program. We want that to go higher by five steps. So I want you to put Y plus height plus five and then y plus height plus 5. On the next line, we've got y plus height plus 1. Well, we need to add 5 to that, so it's going to be y plus height plus 6. And then y plus height plus 6 again later on that line just there. And that just pushes both layers of the roof, the gutter and the roof itself, up into the air a bit more. And that will give us room, as you can see, to add our second story in. Okay, so let's add that second floor to the house now. I'm just going to give myself a bit of room in Mu here so you can see it a bit easier. I'll put in a hashtag and just write in house first of all. And we're going to start with mc.setBlocks like usual. And we're going to start at the X position. Uh, for the Y we need to go up in the air. So it's going to be Y plus 5 and then Z. Then we're going to do X oops, plus width. And then we're going to do y plus height plus 5, and then z plus length. We just need to finish off by putting um, in the variable called brick, just to tell the computer we are using brick to build up this next part of the house. So as you can see, when we run it, we get that big solid chunk of brick up the top. If we were to bash through that, it would be all solid brick. So our next step is to actually hollow out the top section of the house. So let's put in a comment that says hollow out um, the top floor. And it's another mc.setblocks. 
blocks. We're going to be using air blocks to hollow this part out. That's going to be x plus 1, y plus 6, z plus 1 are our starting coordinates that we want to build at. Then we're going to do x plus width minus 1 to finish off on the x-axis. Uh, then we're going to do y, this is a long one, y plus the height um, plus 5 minus 1. A little bit confusing there. And then z plus length minus 1. And we fill that space with air. So that's quite a mouthful, that uh, line of code. And when you actually run it, you probably won't see anything happen unless you jump into your game and go for a bit of a fly and bust through the bricks there. And you can see that that is all hollowed out now, ready for us to keep building our staircase. All right, before we get to that, though, I'll probably um, stick some windows in, actually. So I will um, go to the next line here in my code and write windows. And we'll start with two front windows up the top here. So we'll do MC dot set blocks. And the first window is going to be on the left. So I am going to write X and then Y plus 6. Um, and the Z is what's going to need to change a little bit here. So Z plus 1. So we're not building right on the edge of the house. So X, Y plus 6, so that's up in the air. Z plus 1 comes in a little bit from the left of the house. Um, then we're going to do X again because it's going to stay the same. Y is going to go up 2. So we've got Y plus 8. And then we're going to do Z plus 2. So we just go across one. We're going to use the window variable to build this, which is a glass pane. And that should be the front left window. I'll put a little comment in there to remind me of that. Just to test that, I'll see if it works. Okay, I've stuffed up the Y values here. Um, put Y plus 2 for some reason there. It needs to be Y plus 8. Let me just fix that up for you. So it'll be up there now. That looks a bit better. I'm going to copy and paste that code for the next window because we're just going to build one right next to it over here on the right side. So it's going to be pretty similar code. So I'm actually got mc.setBlocks and we're going to have x, y plus 6 and z plus 4 this time. We're just going to go whoops, a little bit further over to the right. So on the z axis we're moving across to the right to z plus 4. Next section is going to be x, y plus 8, and z plus 5. And that's going to make the front right window. So double check your code against mine there. I'm pretty sure I've got that right. There we go. We've got two front windows on our top floor now. Also, I want some windows around the side. Looks a little bit bare around the side still. So I might just copy the windows I've already got at the bottom up the top as well. So it's going to be... Another mc.setBlocks job here. So mc.setBlocks. Oops. And it's going to be x plus 3, y plus 7, and then z. And then we'll do an x oops, plus 7, y plus 8, and z. We'll use the window variable which is the glass and this is on the left side windows give that a run and you should just see basically a duplicate of those windows up the top which is perfect we want to do the same on the right hand side as you see at the moment we've got nothing there so let's do a copy paste job from that last line that you just typed in control c to copy it control v to paste it and we're going to update it. It's going to stay at x plus 3, y plus 7, and it's going to be z plus length. Uh, x plus 7, y plus 8, z plus length is what you need to add in. Window will stay there because we're building with the glass, and that's going to be the right side windows. Let's give that a run. Let's have a look. Yep, that's working well. So... Basically the exterior is done, we've got the roof, the bricks, the windows, all looking good. It's just the interior we need to sort out now, which is a staircase that takes us up to that top floor. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is put, uh, put a hole in the roof. So we'll just say, uh, make a hole in 
first floor roof to allow for stairs. Okay, so we're going to use some air blocks here to make a hole in the roof. It's just another mc.setblocks job. So mc.setblocks is going to be x plus 5, y plus 2, and z plus 5. And to finish off with, it'll be x plus 8, uh, y plus 5. And Z plus 5. I think I've just made a typo there. Whoops. And the block is going to be air. That should be Y plus 5, not Y plus 2. The Y value stays the same. So Y plus 5 and Y plus 5. That was my mistake. So just double check you've got everything the same. It's X plus 5, Y plus 5, Z plus 5 for the starting three coordinates. Finishing coordinates are X plus 8, Y plus 5, Z plus 5. Uh, give that a run and you should just see a hole appear in your roof up here. We go for a walk around there, it is there, so we can see up into the second floor now. So we just need a little staircase basically that will take us up to the top floor. So put in your final comment here that says staircase. And we're going to use a little loop to do this. The blocks we're using are blocks shaped like stairs, and we just want to put five of them um, that take go up to that little gap in the roof. So it'll be in it. Whoops, for I in range five. Remember, that's the line of code that will loop something. So for I in range 5, just says we're going to repeat the next line of code five times. So the mc.setBlock. We're not doing set blocks this time. We're just putting one block at a time. So that's why I'm using mc.setBlock. And we only need to list the first um, starting coordinates here. So it's going to be x plus 4 plus i. I'll explain what's happening there in a sec. And it will be y plus 1 plus i and z plus 5 and we're going to use the block called stairs to build that so this letter i here is like a little variable it starts at the number 1 in this loop so when we're substituting i here with a number it's going to be 1 to start with so it'll be x plus 4 plus 1 y plus 1 plus 1 and so on that builds the first step then our code loops around a second time and runs again. But the second time it runs, that I updates to the number 2. The third time it runs, it updates to number 3. So these numbers keep going up, which allows us to build our staircase up into the air. All right, and that happens five times until we get five steps all built. So if we give that a quick run, we should see a staircase appear in our bottom floor. And if we walk up that, it should finish perfectly on the second floor, which it does. And there you have it. We now have our two-story house all built. So just a matter of you now going in and furnishing the top floor if you would like. Okay, I'll catch you in the next video.